All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and make the uh, penguin. So what I want you to do is click your space bar and go to front view. You should have downloaded the image planes before you do this. Then we're going to go to view, image plane, import image. Should be saved on your desktop. And since I'm in front view here, I'm just going to select front. Then I'm going to go to my side view. And I'm going to go to view, image plane, import image, my desktop, and side. So now I'm going to, again, to get to this view is here. I'm going to go back to here or just click my space bar. And I'm going to take this image. And I'm going to move it over here to the left. Take this one, move it in the back. Just take a box like this. Hit space bar. Make sure you can see it in everything you can. All right, good. Now we'll get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off in this view. And we're going to go to shading and x-ray. We're going to start off up here, and we're just going to do this. We're going to sort of get a block for the head, okay? And I'm going to go underneath here. Go to face. And I'm going to kind of use two windows here, and I'm going to hit Control e to extrude. I'm going to bring it down like this. And I'm going to scale it like that. I can look here, it's pretty good. Now I'm gonna hit Control E again. I'm gonna bring it down. I'm gonna scale it in a bit. Okay, Control E again. I'm gonna bring it down. And I'm gonna scale it in a bit like that. Actually, let's do it like that, in the middle, okay? All right, so far so good. Here I'm just gonna go to Vertex. I'm just gonna kind of bring this over like this. I'm going to insert an edge loop in the middle, there, and I'm going to go to vertex mode, and I'm going to bring that up here, and I'll come in here, and I'll bring this down, bring this down, and let's insert an edge loop in the middle here. Don't worry if it's not super symmetrical, it's all right. I'm going to bring that up, and in. And that looks pretty good. Let's bring that in a bit. So we're just fixing the edges here. And what you can do is you can go to view, or shading rather, and then x-ray. So you can get your tracing um, accurate. All right. So right here, I'm going to go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. I'm just going to put one here. Then go to vertex and sort of, I don't want to put too many. I just kind of want to put them where I need them. Looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go to my 3D view. <clears throat> and this is a cool trick. Right now it's pretty flat. So I'm going to go here and I'm just going to do this. I'm going to go to this and that. I could actually go to top view if I want. You'll see this top view. And I could just go here and round that out. So this is just rounding out your creature. And then hit spacebar, and you'll notice a pretty nice shape. I want to do one thing first. I'm going to go to vertex, and let's go to side view. I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to scale it in like that. A bunch. Then I'm going to come here. Okay. Now I'm going to hit space bar, go to here. This looks good. All right. Now, check out check it out. I'm going to hit 3 on my keyboard. So I have this shape which looks pretty good. It's a nice little This is good. You know, you could always go to vertex, you know, if you want to make this guy a little fatter. Go here. If you want to make his head a little bit bigger, his neck a little skinnier. However you want to do this. You know, it's up to you. When you're done, just hit 1 on your keyboard to get back to where it was. All right, so that looks pretty good. I don't want it too exaggerated right now, so I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger. I'll just make it easy, for, easy to work with. So what I want you to do is go to File, Save Scene As, go to your desktop, and just call this Part 1, 
body. You just save it. And um, I'm going to stop the video and start a new one so you guys could save it, relax for a minute, and then we'll get started on the next one.